Sir Isaac Pittman was born on January 4, 1813, in Trowbridge, Wiltshire in England, the third of the eleven children of Samuel Pittman, and his wife, Maria Pittman. He attended the local grammar school, but left it when he was 13 years old, due to his fragile health. He had great difficulty pronouncing words, and the overcrowded atmosphere in the classrooms caused Pittman to have frequent fainting fits. Whereafter, Pittman continued to study at home, while at the same time working as a clerk in a cloth factory. In 1931, he was sent to the Normal College of the British and Foreign School Society in London. At that time, Pittman was teaching Samuel Taylor's system and was compiling a manual for its use. He offered the manual for publication, but it was turned down, with the request to devise a new system, simpler and more practical for use. That was the birth of Pittman's shorthand system, which he published in 1837 as stenographic soundhand and soon started to teach it to his students Watton under edge. In 1839, he opened his own private school at Bath, and conducted it until 1843. During that time he devoted himself to perfecting his system and propagating its use. He founded a phonetic institute and a phonetic journal, which helped spread his ideas. In 1840, he published a book, Phonography, which went through numerous editions. Pittman was a perfectionist, and continued to revise his system until his death, publishing 12 editions. In 1845, Pittman opened a new school in London, where he continued to teach shorthand. Before he created his system, Pittman had used Samuel Taylor's system for seven years, but saw its weaknesses for being too bulky and impractical to use. Like most systems of shorthand, it was a phonetic system based on phonetic, rather than orthographic principles. The symbols did not represent letters, but sounds, and words were written as they were spoken. In essence, there are 24 consonants that could be represented in Pittman's shorthand, 12 vowels, and 4 diphthongs. The consonants were indicated by strokes, the vowels by interposed dots. Pittman used similar-looking symbols for phonetically related sounds. He was the first to use thickness of a stroke to indicate voicing, and consonants with similar place of articulation were orientated in similar directions with straight lines for plosives and arcs for fricatives. Thus, a characteristic feature of Pittman shorthand was that voiceless and voiced sounds, such as P and B, were represented by strokes that differed only in thickness. Doing this required a writing instrument which was responsive to the user's drawing pressure, especially fountain pens, with fine, flexible nibs, were originally used, but pencils later became more common. Another distinguishing feature was that there was more than one way of indicating vowels. The main vowel of a word or phrase was indicated by the position of the stroke with respect to the lines of the notebook. For example, a small circle drawn above the line translated to as or has, and the same circle drawn on the line translated to is or his. However, there was a more straightforward way of indicating vowels which was to use dots or small dashes drawn close to the stroke of the preceding consonant. The type of vowel was dependent on the relative position of the dot or dash to the stroke, beginning, middle, or end. Another feature of Pittman's shorthand allowed most vowels to be omitted in order to speed up the process of writing. As mentioned above, each vowel was written next to the consonant stroke at the beginning, middle, or end of the stroke. Pittman's shorthand was designed to be written on lined paper and when a word's first vowel is a first position, vowel, at the beginning of the stroke, the whole shorthand outline for the word was written above the paper's ruled line. When it was a second position vowel, the outline was written on the line. When it was a third position vowel it was written through the line. In this way, the position of the outline indicated that the first vowel could only be one of four possibilities. In most cases, this meant that the first and often all the other vowels could be omitted entirely. There are at least three dialects of Pittman's shorthand, the original Pittman's, Pittman's New Era, and Pittman's 2000. The later versions dropped certain symbols and introduced other simplifications to earlier versions. For example, strokes, rar, heavy curved downstroke, and quay 
hooked horizontal straight stroke, are present in Pittman's new era, but not in Pittman's 2000. Pittman was married twice. His first wife, Mary Holgate, whom he married in 1835, died in 1857, whereafter he married again in 1861 to Isabella Masters, from whom he had two sons, Alfred and Ernest. Pittman also served as the vice president of the Vegetarian Society. He was knighted in 1894 by Queen Victoria for his contributions to shorthand. Pittman died in Somerset, England, on January 12, 1897.